All right, so we got about an hour or so to kill. Brooke and I down here on the beach today. Uh, it is June, and we've been suffering through a, uh, a nor'easter in June in Florida, which is super weird. But uh, you can see here, I don't know, GoPro never does anything justice, but you can see all the rain there. Some rain just passed through just now. We went fishing yesterday uh, in the boat, and we got rained out yesterday. Uh, we got to fish a little bit, uh, but then the wind picked up and the rain moved through. But uh, we kept our live shrimp. We got them right in there. There's probably two dozen live shrimp, so uh, here in the next hour, uh, we'll just use those, and whatever we don't use, we'll just let go in the ocean. But also uh, of note today is Griffin's birthday. That guy's turning 14 today, or he turned 14 today, and uh, he got a birthday present. Uh, so he kind of wanted to try it out. Uh, his birthday present was this Squall 215. Uh, uh, it's got the star drag. Uh, he's been wanting that. He thinks uh, he's going to do a lot of fishing and catch a lot of fish with it. He's got he's going to kind of uh, dual multi purpose out reel. It's probably not on the right rod. Here, this rod is a live bait trolling rod. Uh, but he's going to try it out with surf fishing right now. And then um, I think he may keep it on that rod. We'll see. And uh, use it for a uh, flat line when we take the boat out. Uh, throw out uh, live pogies and what other kinds of live bait we may use. So that's the goal there. So he's getting it set up. Um, nothing fancy today. If we catch any fish, we're probably just going to release them unless it's something really awesome. But uh, all right, let us get set up and we're going to try to catch us some fish. For our, so for our little pompano rigs, we're just using little bite sized pieces like that. Nothing big at all. All, right, all I'm doing right here is just hooking them right through the uh, clear spot of their head, trying to stay away from the brains like that. A little two ounce pyramid secret on a fish finder. I'm not getting out very far. I mean, it's only a seven foot boat rod and a uh, two ounce sinker against this northeast wind that's still blowing. is isn't really getting out very far. But, all right, so I didn't want to film because I didn't want to put the pressure on him, but man, he just threw out that first cast and it was, it was really good. It went pretty far. No backlash or nothing. All right, one more rod to set up. He is uh, cutting up the live shrimp into small pieces because he's using pompano rigs. And then I got a live bait rig there, so I just got one hooked. Uh, that almost like he had a bite right there, maybe just a little wave. But uh, I'm using a one whole live shrimp on, on that one there. That's uh, kind of a fish finder rig. Griff, you're already getting bites there, big guy. You're definitely getting nibbles. Uncle Kevin, I know you're going to watch this video. I don't know if you recognize that rod, but you know where it came from. All right. Well, all right, we've got three baits out there, so we'll keep an eye on it. I think we might have a fish on this one. How about that fancy camera work? See here. Gotta watch the other rods. You got some on there? Oh, okay. And there's something on here, it's off the TV. Oh, it's starting to get heavy now. Oh yeah. All right, so we're not gonna get stuck down here for an hour of goof off. We don't have the fishing yet. All right, there you go. Five, 10 inch wide, we're not skunked. All right. The Griffin backlash is real and he's, he was walking all the way back up onto the hard beach and now he says he's got a fish on. Still think you got a fish on? Let's check it out. Yeah, you got a fish on. All right, another dink whiting, but heck, could be worse for the first fish on your new reel. Yeah, catfish seems to be the, the usual break in. Maybe that's good luck. How about that? The action's pretty hot and heavy. Now the fish aren't heavy, but uh, we can't keep three rods out. What do we got? Still on there to come off? Probably another uh, nine inch, 10 inch whiting. Let's check it out. Never know when we're gonna pull up that monster. Yep. He's uh yeah, he's right at that 11 inch, 10, 11 inch fish. All right, man. Burning some live shrimp here. So if we do run out of bait, there's no shortage of sand fleas. Look at these. Some of these are perfect eating size or bait size, should I say? Yeah, I didn't grab them all, but I got one there. I mean that's a perfect bite size. I'll go throw him in the bait well just for the heck of it. 
a little fun fishing fact. I always put my rods down into the rod holder, like all the way down, pretty much always do that. Griffin, he does something a little different here. He likes to leave them up kind of high. Like this has got a really short rod butt and it is not all the way down in there. All the way down, obviously, because there's obviously there's nowhere, there's no uh, pen or anything going through there. So he leaves them up. So he knows when they fall, something happened. He got a fish, a bite, or something happened. He's got to check his line. So that's his little trick. Just turn the camera off, explain to how he puts his rods in there, and it just literally happened in front of us. I don't know if the oh, we got one over here, dude. That's, whoa. All right. All right, I got something on here. All right, I've got to do some playful stuff here. Fish. All right, after all that dizzy swirling, here we go. Double hook up a little, uh, little whiting. All right, even though we're not catching anything real big, I'm glad we came down. Got out of the house after the rain. I mean, heck, we literally just caught fish on those. We can't keep any our rods on the water, but I mean, these are not killer fish. But we are not on the couch or behind the computer right now. Actually, that's a good fish. If we were keeping fish, we'd keep that one. That one's, I'm sure breaks 11, maybe pushing 12, but 11 inches where our cutoff is. Nice fish, Griff. <laughs> I was nowhere near the camera. This rod just, I mean, doubled over. Now it's a super flimsy rod, but you would have thought I'd dag, I'm kingfish hit it. And that one just went down too. I don't know if I got that on camera. What you got here, just a, just a whiting. Well, he hit like he was a, a big old redfish. Now that one's getting hit over there. Here, I'll hold this. Definitely something tap of that one too. All right, here's our one survivor here. <laughs> All right, let's walk him down to the water here. All right, dude. I want to say it's your lucky day. Oh, look at that grip. We're getting doubled over over there. Let's see how he does this. He doesn't throw the rod down. He puts it in a rod holder. And then you reel. All right, I'm hoping that's a better fish. I hope it's not a big catfish. I'd rather have a shark than a catfish. Well, here, I thought we were done. I mean, well, I know we're done, but I already did my outro. All right, let me let this guy go real quick. Let's see what our last fish is here. Oh yeah, another good whiting, a better whiting. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's a better whiting. Oh yeah, that one would definitely keep. All right, so let me redo our outro. So that's it. We gotta go up, it's Griffin's birthday. You guys, anybody who watched this video, please make sure you give a thumbs up for his birthday. I wish him a happy birthday. Uh, he turned 14 today. But we're going to his birthday dinner, so we got a boogie. We gotta load everything up, head back up to the house, and then go out to eat. So, as always, thanks for watching.